Welcome in, race fans, to Flags and Flags Behind the Brand. On the telephone, we have the owner-promoter of Carolina Speedway, Clint Elkins. Clint, how are you guys this morning? Doing great, Webb. Thanks for having us on today. Not a problem. Carolina Speedway, I've been there myself. It's, it's one of the, the better tracks on the East Coast. Tell us a little bit about what's going on over there at Carolina Speedway. Well, I tell you, we have had a fantastic year. Uh, our, our admission, our car counts have been good. Our grandstand counts have been fantastic. We've had a ton of action on the racetrack. It's just been a fun year. Um, you know, we've had some drama, which, you know, we'll take the good drama. You know, a lot of stuff happens on the racetrack, and, and tempers get hot, but it's just, man, it's just been a fun, fun year. This is by far the most fun year we've ever had. And you guys, you, you, every racetrack has their, their crown jewels, has their uh, special events, has their uh, own brand, so to speak, of, of, of racing. What's going on with something like the king of the carolinas talk to us about that well what we've tried to do with that is develop a a race that is like you said like that is our signature event we have each year and the idea behind the king of the carolinas is we have all these different racetracks in north and south carolina we want to decide just who is who's the baddest of the bad and we're going to decide it on the racetrack and the way we format the race is that every track champion from every racetrack in north or south carolina gets a free a free entry fee we have, as of right now, we have eight different divisions that were race. It's a four-day event, and uh, it's it's something we're really proud of. It, we've worked on it for about three years, and um, I think it's going to be just a huge event. We've expanded our, our parking in our pits. We just recently expanded the parking in the in the grandstands for our for our patrons, so we'll have more room to be able to do some other events. We're going to have a band on Saturday night. We're just going to make a big weekend out of it. Like I said, it's four days, so we'll get plenty of racing in. Now, the atmosphere in, in dirt track racing over the last, oh, say, year and a half, maybe two years, has kind of been kind of foggy with things that are going on. What are you guys doing at your racetrack to uh, maybe keep things on the up and up? Well, I'm an atmosphere person, first of all. And uh, we, we tell people that, that you know, our, our people that come and support us every week in our grandstands, we have a party every Friday night. It just so happens to be at a racetrack. But now on the other end of things, on the, on the pit side of things, we are very, very serious and diligent about rule enforcement. Um, we've been on the, the leading edge of the, uh, of you know, of the hottest topic going right now is the tire stuff. And you know, we've we've we randomly sample tires. We have all of our divisions on tires that we can police. Um, if if you're trying to dope tires at Carolina Speedway, you're playing Russian roulette because you're going to get caught. Um, we actually had a tire protest last Friday night, and this was the middle of June, and that's the first protest we've had all year long. Um, I think that just goes to show just how much enforcement we've used on tires this year. We publish our results every week. Everything is is is, uh, is posted so the uh, so the competitors can see them. And um, you know, I really I really do not think we have any kind of issue at all when it comes to tires. With without delving too deep into the subject, uh, I do want to ask this. Should more tracks take a, a, a role such as the one you're taking when it comes to this situation? Because it just seems to me as a, a, a guy that observes, you know, nationwide racing, that unless we we take control of it, uh, whether it be the media or the tracks, that these guys aren't going to stop doing it. So do you feel like tracks everywhere else should take the same role you guys are taking? Well, you know, it's, it's pretty simple to me, and this is this is something that I'm very passionate about. I'm passionate about motorsports to begin with, but I'm very passionate about this tire stuff because I was a racer. And I tell people, I so just as many tires as anybody did, maybe more. And <clears throat> it's, it's so simple. It, the whole issue is so simple. Is the promoters of these racetracks and the promoters of these series are going to have to take uh, a stance and throw some people out where they want to do it, whether it's popular or not. And if you go through and look, that there's just a handful of series in the country that haven't thrown somebody out on tires in the last couple of years. I think in the last three years, we've probably disqualified, I'm going to say, 12 to 15 people at, the, at Carolina Speedway. Not a single person in 2013. But it's simple. When these tires, when the, when the sample's taken, they have to be sent to the lab. The chain of custody has to be followed. The results have to be posted so everybody knows it's not a it's not a ghost story it's not a it's not a wild goose chase it's very simple if the proper procedures are followed. Yeah, transparency is a one hundred percent important when it comes to that situation. So, drivers, if you're listening, uh, fair shake is definitely given to 
uh, each and every competitor that goes to Carolina Speedway. Your upcoming schedule, what do you guys got, got an upcoming at Carolina Speedway? Well, you know, one of the highlights of the year, or, or the highlight of the year so far for, for the 40-plus year history of Carolina Speedway has been the Shrine Race, and it's coming on Tuesday night, August 13th. It's a Carolina Class Sanction again. It's the 41st annual Shrine 100. It's the, the, the inaugural and the very first Shrine Race ever, ever started in the United States, and we're very proud to host it. We raise a ton of money for the Children's Hospital. You know, their slogans, strong cars run so weak legs can walk, and it is a... Uh, it's one of the most fun and special shows we have all year long. And, it's, again, it's coming up Tuesday, August 13th. And we're so excited about the King of the Carolinas race coming October the 24th through the 27th. Like I said, it's a four-day show. Uh, close to $70,000 in, in, in purse money will be paid out that event. And, uh, you yeah, we're just, just trying to keep on plugging along with such a great year we've had. You're listening to Clint Elkins of Carolina Speedway here on Behind the Brand. You can go to carolinaspeedway.net, and this website is, is ch- just chock full with information. If you're a fan, there's fan info on tickets, directions, lodgings, divisions, uh, track info, also free, frequently asked questions. If you're a driver, rules and forms are available on the website. Uh, before I let you get out of here, Clint, is there any of the sponsors of the Speedway that you'd like to thank? Well, if, you know, we want to be able to thank City Chevrolet. They're our Victor Lane sponsor. We'll thank Bank of America. They're our scoreboard sponsor. Roush Yates Performance Parts is one of our many sponsors. Heinz Performance does a great job for us. Uh, Steve and Josh and those guys, they, they do a great job of supplying all those all the racers with uh, with the parts they need. I also want to thank VP Racing Fuels, American Racer. And I want to thank Flag to Flag. You know, Jason's worked really hard to, to get his business up and running, and he's been a great asset to us as, you know, we use him as a networking event to connect straight to the racers. So when we're doing big shows, we'll, we'll use the capabilities that Jason has and that's his, his contact list with the racers, which is invaluable to us. You've been listening to Clint Elkins of Carolina Speedway here on Behind the Brand. Clint, real quick, how can the people get a hold of you guys there at Carolina Speedway? Race fans can call 704-869-0313, and you'll get a live voice on the other end 24 hours a day. You can also check us out on our website, which is carolinaspeedway.net. There's a ton of info on there for you, whether you're a racer or a race fan. Also, follow us on Twitter. It's at Carolina Speed. And like us on Facebook. For more information regarding Behind the Brand, you can contact Jason Atkins at 336-648-5757 or reach him through www.flagtoflag.net. Join us next time when we take you Behind the Brand.